ready. I actually found a little time in here to continue with this. So it is 5.05 in the morning. But uh, yeah, I'm going to just continue from yesterday where I was talking about last week, Thursday and Friday at the reunion. This is all reunion. And then I put the last day, Sunday, here. Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so I talked about the reunion and everything. And then we got up the next morning, Saturday. And it was, um, it was Fall Fest. And Wyckoff. So we went to that. I thought I should do a... Just tape this in here, I think. So what we did is we had breakfast with uh, any classmates that wanted to at the little cafe in town. And that was um, the Gateway Inn. It's just your typical small town cafe. And uh, so there were actually several of us. I think there were about 14 of us that went to that and uh, had a really good visit with everybody again, which is nice. And I got to visit with a couple of the girl, the gals, uh, more in depth, which I really liked. Oops. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Come on, we could do this. And then, uh, yeah, we had a really good time. And then after that, we went to the Ed's Museum. And this is a place in town. It used to be Jack Spratt um, Food Store. And he and his family, uh, Ed, lived up above. And it's their school. <clears throat> they made it into, like, I believe this room is, like, the school museum. And then... The store is all full of these old things, like a museum or like a wonderful antique shop, really. Kind of that sense to it. So it, it was really cool. So I thought I would, uh, this is the type of stuff that's in it. Very interesting, as you can see. Um, this is also there, too. This is a, <laughs> uh, the historic white. Wyckoff Jailhouse B&B, which is a tiny jailhouse that they have made into a B&B. <laughs> a lot of these towns, I think, have these old jailhouse type things. So I thought I would just kind of maybe stick this like this. Because I want it to be able to be read or looked at so what did I do with my washi here it is maybe I'll just go like this so that I can have this in here as well <clears throat> Oh, I do want to get done, that's for sure, with everything. So. We could put this like that, and then just maybe... Stick this on here. It's not like I need it to be... Uh, fancy or anything. Thing. There we go. Just put a couple of things down like this. The attractions. Anyway, so we did that. Um, walked through the museums. Just some of us um, saw the old school stuff and uh, visited with the ones that were in there with us, which was really fantastic. And. Yeah, so it was good. And then we walked down to the school parking lot. 
and <clears throat> wow, that's actually all there is for this. Maybe, maybe I should flip this. Oops. <laughs> move it because there really isn't anything else I have to put here by the looks of it. Oh yeah, okay. I guess I got more space than I thought so I can actually peel this off of here and put it right here. See if we can get this to do its thing without being super crooked, right? Okay, this one here, and then this here. So that kind of gives all that paraphernalia in here. And then this is Saturday. So yeah, so we did that, and then we went, to, like I said, we went down to the school parking lot where the float was because this was fall um, the fall fest and Wyckoff which they do every year and there's a parade and other fun things that they do and um, so we had a float in the parade this year so I went down and uh, participate. Okay, I'm going to try and finish this up. My camera shut down after six minutes and I was like, what the heck is going on? Um, now it's seven o'clock, but there was a, um, I had to do an update, I guess, on my uh, phone. So uh, that seems to be what the thing was. <laughs> anyway, so I want to do this because it was the Fall Fest in Wyckoff. So I'm thinking I want um, at least a little fall decoration around this particular one here. And not a whole lot else. Um, since it was Fall Fest, I'll just put another little piece of Indian corn up there, and <clears throat> I think that's all I really need to do for decoration in that particular spot. Just gonna check my other stickers, see what I've got. Um, some leaves, some of this stuff, of course, I wanna leave for decorating. Uh, further down the line, but we'll just see what I got, right? Got sticky on the back of this. All right, um, maybe I'll put a cute little, just a little something to kind of decorate the, this a little more. Here we go. Like that. Just because it's pretty, right? <laughs> to do some pretty things. All right. <clears throat> I should pull my October, October book out. This is my October volume. So, be doing that soon. If I can get caught up with uh, <laughs> with this. So I was talking about, let's see, Saturday. Oh yeah, we had the Fall Fest. I talked about breakfast, Ed's Museum. Then we rode the float. And then um, those of us classmates who were there, probably about 14, 15 of us. And it, the float was a hay wagon with straw bales on it. And then, um, or a flatbed with straw bales on it. 
and then we um, so we were in the parade and then we had went to the fire hall to have brats and we visited some more with classmates and then um, mid-afternoon we headed back home and we stopped in Rochester to visit my brother Chris before he and his family head south for the winter so I thought well if I'm gonna get to see them this is it so I had a nice visit and it was really interesting my husband went geocaching and um, he discovered nearby in a cemetery where my great aunt had been buried and she was a nun at Assisi Heights in Rochester and they had this whole section where they buried the nuns and all the tombstones were alike, just small square tombstones. And um, one side, like the front side, just said the last name. And then on the back was a cross. And then on the top of the tombstone was their name and their year. So it wasn't her actual given name, which was Ruth, but it was her name that she took as a nun. So it just said Sister Eugenio Byrne. Um, I think it was like 1905 or 1906 or something like that to 1996. So, um, and we used to visit her when growing up as my parents, well, my mom in particular, loved to go to Assisi Heights. And so um, we would go, all of us, you know, kids. <laughs> and, uh, six kids which the nuns loved all these little kids and uh, we got to see a lot of places they're beautiful fancy parlors and marble floors and pillars and we always got to eat there and uh, she would just take us all over the place she really was a very happy person and uh, I really did love her a lot she's just a fantastic person and uh, she went in the convent, and as did her sister. And uh, I think she was a teacher, and her sister was a nurse. And her sister was actually uh, went to Nauvoo, Illinois, and that's where she served. And her name, her Catholic name, was Sister Anella. But I believe her actual, see, I don't remember hers as well because we didn't see her as much. I think it was, yeah, but you know, I'm not really sure, so I don't want to say because I'm not for sure, for sure. Anyway, I thought I'd decorate that page a little bit. And then, anyway, we got home about 5.30, super tired out, so we just got some pizza for supper and watched some Netflix and actually went to bed at 9.30 because we were so tired, so tired. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I know I should, I'm gonna try and decorate. I'm so tired. I'm just like, I don't even know what to do on these pages. I do need to get some uh, owls, owls, yes, owls in here, <laughs> obviously. Oh my goodness, my brain, my brain. I need to get some owls in here. I'm going to move over a couple of things that I want that go in October, into the October one in the book, or in the my traveler's notebook, <clears throat> so I don't have to, like, do that later on. Because um, I do want to come back um, and do a flip of the September... That's kind of where I, what I need to do. But I do want to put some other things in here. So let me see. Oh, and yesterday I got a happy mail, but I'm not going to show that yet until I do October 1st because that's when I got it. Anyway, I wanted to see if I had anything... I could put in here. So I'm going into my stash of calendars, pages, which I don't have too many, and um, my stuff from Allie Brown. 
Because, you know, I just feel like things like this, um, the faces and stuff, probably express a little bit um, my emotions and stuff through all of what was going on and everything. So, I'm thinking those might be good, uh, good things for some of this. Just the... Um, Kind of expressing the anxiety and stuff before the actual <laughs> thing happened. Uh, maybe throwing a couple of phrases in here. Maybe I'll put this love yourself first down here. And... Um, Let's see. I just got all these remnants of these little old ones that are left, and um, I'm just gonna try and stick them in here and there, I guess. Let's see if there's anything else I want to like toss in there. Fabulous. Kind of like this. Because I did feel pretty fabulous. But I kind of want to save that. I'm going to save that for something. So let me see. Is there anything else? Emily Brown always has some... good things that can kind of express feelings. So I'm kind of looking to see what I can find. She does a lot of faces, uh, which I like. And then sometimes stuff with words. So I'm just kind of checking to see if there's something that appeals to me. So, and I only have so much time before I have to get to work, so I'm kind of trying to get through this quickly. Embrace the journey. Here's another really cool face. A cute owl. He's cute. I'm kind of thinking this embrace the journey and enjoy it might look really good right there. If I just do this part. There we go. Kind of like that there, you know? I think it looks good. And just want to do a couple of other things. Just kind of like that. That was pretty crooked. Yeah, I kind of feel like uh, <laughs> maybe this will, like the expressions on these faces that Allie Brown does will kind of help me going through all this. Um. <laughs> Tossing scissors around. I don't know. I just think, you know, these are kind of 
good and expressive and everything. And they look, the colors go good. And then I can put some of those words, um, you know, along with some of this. So I think that's good. I kind of like this remember piece as well. Right? Yeah, I like that. Let's put that in there. We'll see how much I get done. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to finish, even though I thought I would. There's just, you know, things. I'm just going to put make a wish. Remember, all you need is love. I just want to throw some things on here. Life is good. Best day ever. It was a really good day. Live your life. I'm thinking, you know what? These are kind of cool things to stick on there, don't you think? Um, I'm going to just put this wishing all you were wishing for. Okay, so we're going to put that there. I like that. I feel like we need more. Let's put practice kindness and maybe just something up here. Uh, maybe a calendar page. Like here. That would be good, right? Let's do a calendar page. And then that can be behind that. I think that will look really good. And of course, it talks about friends. And I feel like I gained some friends this weekend. Um. Okay, so we can slip this in here. All right, we still have tons of space here. And we have this, and I do, and it was a cold day out, so I think I'm gonna put that, baby, it's cold outside because, oh my gosh, with the day of the parade, well, it was a beautiful morning, but we woke up to frost on the ground. This was Saturday. And we went down, we weren't doing breakfast, but we did go down for coffee and a roll. And um, the sun was rising and it was so beautiful. We got to just sit and watch and enjoy it. And uh, it was just beautiful, just beautiful. So pink and lovely. So yeah, that was really nice. Hmm, what else can we stick in these little spots? <laughs> and yeah Sunday was just I was tired I didn't really and I didn't have time to even get in my craft room on Sunday which you guys know I do like to get in my craft room but uh, that didn't happen on Sunday either so such is life let's put this one here Um, what time is it? Oh my gosh, I gotta watch my time. 7.15, I'm still okay. We, um, so we went to church. Uh, thankfully, we could sleep in, and I, this is how exhausted I was. I slept for like 10 hours, and I'll tell you, I felt totally wasted. All day Sunday, I just felt emotionally, physically, mentally tired. Just 
felt super tired and like I just didn't have the energy to do anything. But we went to church and then in the afternoon I went and had uh, coffee and a two and a half hour visit with my son's ex-girlfriend, which was a very good visit. Very good talk. And, um, so that was that was really good. Just gonna put it. Do what you love there. Okay, and then um, got some more stuff here. Maybe I can find something to go there. That would be cool. Um. Just kind of want to throw some things around in here. Cherish every moment of your life and give thanks. I just kind of want to stick some stuff in that you can open it up and read something, you know. That's pretty much all I'm doing here. But, um, what did I say? Oh, yeah. And then we rented um, Solo the Star Wars movie about Han Solo. We had seen it in the theater, but we rented it and um, had leftover pizza for supper on Sunday. And really, that's all we did because we just... were tired and didn't want to do anything much, so we didn't. And yeah, I was I was tired. Went to bed at a good hour and slept okay. And you know, it was quite a roller coaster weekend for me. I'll say that. But it is done, and now now we're just getting ready for the um, big seminar at work and everything and I'm just like kind of waiting for it all to be done just so I can breathe again and life can kind of you know get back to normal and I don't have to like <laughs> think about other stuff and yeah I'm ready for that I'm just decorating pages. I have a little time and like, well, why not? Why not? It's just kind of fun. Maybe I'll stick a little washi across here just for whatever. There we go. Okay, that one's done, that's done, this is done, um, this is pretty much done. I have a little tiny space up here that maybe, maybe I can just put a little speck of something. in if I can find a little something I think if I just I think it would be okay to just hmm I don't know I kind of want to do something like this over the coffee Coffee is the best reward. <laughs> I really should have just saved this. I'm going to take this off and use this in my coffee journal, actually. And I'm going to put this here instead. And I'm just going to do some page decorating. Oh my gosh, this is for um, October, for my October book. 
obviously. It's so perfect. How about be grateful? I just want some words in here. I'm just decorating to finish it up because I'm out of ephemera and I had quite a few pages left and I have the spots on them and I just want to get them filled up. And I'm gonna use this, kinda wanna use this Alley Brown here and just kinda trim off parts I don't need. So let's figure right there. And then I won't do that arm on the other side. This was another Alley Brown one and it's kinda cute, I really like it. I think we'll stick that on here. And that will help with some of that space. And then I won't do like this, so you can read it. There we go. <laughs> I'm just putting just because there. Bloom for good. You see, I'm just trying to use stuff up. This would make a good piece of thick washi over here. I'm gonna use this one, big thick fat washi. It's kind of a travel-y thing, isn't it? Let's stick some here too. Let's see if we can actually stick it on straight though, okay? And I'm almost done. Can't seem to get that straight, can I? Honestly, Terry, it's not that difficult. Maybe it is. Like how many times do you think I can peel this off, huh? How many times? Okay. <laughs> As I try and make this, um, make a wish for good. Just because I'm trying to use up space, spaces of things. Okay, so this looks good. We need a little decoration there. We still have some decoration there. Oop, here's some more cute Halloween trick-or-treat stuff I can use. Um, bloom, I did that. Best in you, a lot of these I have. Happy New Year. <laughs> Stars and Strife. Be who you were meant to be. I kind of like that one. Be who you were meant to be. Let's just put that here. And then I can just trim off the rest that I don't use. Just like that. My time is running out and I'm trying to get done. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just, oops, well, that didn't stick. Put that back. Let's try that again. I'm gonna have to finish this later. Or maybe I'll have a speck of time when I get back. Yeah, it's already 7.23, so. But I'm getting there, so I will just continue when I get back and finish up the few little spots you know, I have here, and I have here, and this looks pretty good, that looks pretty good. I have there, I have here. So I've got some little spots here and there um, to get finished up. So we're just gonna stop right there, and I will see you when I come back. All right, 
have a great day. Well, I'll be back. So anyway, <laughs> talk to you later. Well, I'm back after work to see if I can finish this video that's taken me three different times to actually record. It's insane, but it happens to be how it is, I guess. So, today was still busy. It wasn't as crazy or hectic feeling, but definitely busy. Um, always, you know, prep for the event is <laughs> going well. You know, there's always these last minute orders and stuff. So that's kind of how it is. And that's okay. So I'm just working on um, finishing up and um, looking for some areas yet I can put some more things in and just to kind of conclude this little conclude my September journal huh, what a day it's busy I am looking forward to a little more calmness but maybe that won't be till you know this is all over I don't know but I don't have to bring lunch the next two days because we're gonna eat lunch at work since we're training some people that are of the ones that are coming so that is good I think this would be perfect here I'm just doing some you know fun stuff kind of putting things in and I have these calendar pages that my friend had given me all throughout the year and I and that was last year I think and I have used them 2017 yeah so last year and I've used them I've given away in happy mails so they have certainly gotten um, a ton of use from me. And I'm almost, I have to put something here. So I think I will do this. Yeah. Yeah, so just uh, finishing up. I got some inserts in the mail today from Beth Solar Shop. Rock your notebook. I love to get my inserts from her. They are my favorite. And I haven't opened the package yet, and you know I really, really want to. I love the color too, this beautiful blue. I might have to see if I can find a way to use this packaging. But I know I got, um, So, some stuff, I don't worry about like this paper on this one, but. So I got um, an extra thick Tomoe River paper, um, I think 180 pages, I'm not sure, um, B6. So I'm gonna have fun cover decorating, um, and I use that uh, strictly for journaling. And this is the, um, this is also Tomoe River, but this is an A5, I believe. No, it's not an A5. This is a, oh, I can't get my sizes right. Okay, I can't remember what size this is, but <laughs> this is the, I think it's A5. Whatever half a sheet is, um, that's what this is. And that fits this size right here so that's another one i will be doing some things with in the near future got some covers to make so let me see is there anything else or do i feel like i got it all i could put something across the top there i think 
so it's not too plain. And then I guess I'll put on some owls and I was going to do washi tape around where I needed it too, but I might not, might not need it. But anyway, that takes care of that bit so I can put that away because I have stuff everywhere. And, oh yeah, here we go. I'm like, where's the lid to this mess? <laughs> there we go. And I didn't need that. And I don't need the scissors now. Um, I still had um, some words. I'm going to just go ahead and put them in different spots. Let's put this one here. Own your dreams. Just kind of want to scatter things around. Um, love yourself. I put that there. Um, I put one there. I have this would be kind of fun. Be authentic. And love you. Okay, I think that's good. So really, the only thing I need are the owls. And I think I will be good to go in here. And then the only other thing would be to do my um, if I wanted to do some washi. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. And my friend, Kathy, who sent me the Happy Mail, sent me some owl stickers because <laughs> this is all I had left. And she knew I was getting to the end, so she was very kind to send me some more. So Thursday, if that's where we are. And I'm just going to randomly scatter my owls around. Get them on the page. And... there and let's put you here and this guy up here gotta have owls on all the pages right you guys purple purple here because that was our colors purple and gold so oh his foot got stuck under that's life most sorry, my little guy. Most sorry. Um, let's go with this color. We can do that here. And this page. We can do one here. And this page. Let's go pink. And because I have lots of pink. So let's use the pink there and there <laughs> we're getting there we're getting there um on this one um i'm gonna put it here we're almost there we're almost done and then we're gonna do a flip much needed flip Let's put this here, and I think we'll put this guy here, and then we have one more, and we'll do that. All right, wow. <laughs> Craziness, huh? All right, so that is the rest of the book. All done can take some pictures and um yeah I think we're good thank you guys for watching and um I hope October has started off well for you okay all right bye hey everyone I am finally done with September as you know and I'm going to do the flip through you see it got pretty fat because um obviously you can tell here how fat it got 
but not too much. And I'm just going to flip through. I'm not going to talk about any of it. I'm just going to flip through it. And you know what? I don't think I even put my name anywhere on here, which is so crazy. So let me put my name up here so we know. <laughs> People know that it belongs to me. And it's going to be September 2018. Okay. Because somehow I forgot to even do that. But anyway, lots of Allie Brown stuff. Thing, happy mails from people. Loved this red page. Lots of packaging. You guys know I love to use the packaging. So I do use that a lot. Stamps. Lots of magazines. I collage with the magazines wherever I can. Packaging. That lifts up so you can see more packaging. Oh, and this was the Fall Festival with Sadie. And, oops, some more of that. Fall Festival and, of course, church. And as you see, just packaging, packaging, packaging. I used quite a bit of washi in this one, too. It's just fun collecting all these different things and putting them in here. I really enjoy it. Lots of packaging. <laughs> just kind of fun. I like to do it and then try and match my colors. And I just left that in the middle. But it's fun just to look back um, at all the things in this month. I just felt like this month flew by. I think this is my favorite page because of the pink and green. And owls everywhere. It was fun doing this part too with the fall decorating, decorative type stuff. And then we catch up to what I just did, catching up to the end of the month. And I had, you know, tucked, tucked that in and yeah, just, um, I enjoyed it. It was good. And, uh, it was a good month. And now it is done. And the new one is ready to go right here. All ready and set. And ready to be decorated and everything. So, thank you so much for watching this. And I will see you next time. Bye.